Welcome guys to the 10th video tutorial of PLC automation with Slack FlexisRail PLC and this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com. This tutorial is based on the compare instructions and their use in the application. I will first discuss the compare instructions and then we will go for an application of compare instructions with timer. The common compare instructions are equal, greater, equal, greater than, less than, less than, equal and not equal. The functional block of all these compare instructions is same. If this enable pin is getting a high signal from the logic, then only a compare instruction would go for the comparison of these two variables. So in1 is the first variable and in2 is the second variable for comparison. ENO is enable output so whenever the condition for a comparison is true, this ENO pin will provide a high signal. So first create a new project in CellPro software go to edit wizard and we have this compare object first one is equal then greater and equal greater than less than less than equal not equal and window i will not discuss this window compare instruction in this tutorial first i will place a no contact then this greater than instruction and on the eno pin of this instruction i will place a coil assign address to the no contact assign address to the coil now we need two variables to compare so it will always check for if in one is greater than in two then it will activate the eno pin so double click on in one and click on add variable so this is the variable address the initial value you can assign any value suppose i will assign a five double click on in two and click on add variable this is the address and assign any initial value if i assign four go for offline simulation to change the value of a variable double click on the variable and here you can change the variable so if i enter 10 the condition will be false for this block because it will check for in1 is greater than in2 now the 5 is greater than 2 but the output is not high because this contact is not activating the greater than block so to activate this block double click on the contact now you can see if the in1 is greater than in2 then the output is high change the into variable if it is 10 you can see it will turn off the output now consider an application where i want to turn on two outputs i want first output on before five seconds and after five seconds the second output must be turned on and turn off the first output first i will place a no then i will place a on delay timer connect a coil to eno pin double click on pv and assign a value minimum 10 seconds t hash 10 seconds double click on cv and add variable click ok assign the address to no assign the address to this coil and i will use memory address not a physical address for these conditions first i will place less than equal block assign a physical output address the output address which we want to turn on before five seconds double click on in one and what is the name of this variable which is keeping the time for t on timer this is g variable 3 so select g variable 3 in this list now the address of cv is assigned to the in one of the compare instruction so that we can compare this in one with the into for our result double click on into and add a new variable initial value will be in time format t hash then 5s for second output i will use a block greater than connect a coil to eno pin of the compare block and the address of this coil must be the second output of the plc now again for in one of this block we will use g variable 3 of the timer because again we have to compare the time so double click on in1 and assign g variable 3 double click on in2 and click on add variable again make sure it is a type of time now the time will be t hash 5s because whenever the time in1 is greater than 5 seconds we have to turn on the second output and it will automatically turn off the first output so go for offline simulation uh, so you can see the status of output one is high if the time is less than five seconds and the status of second output is off if the time is less than five seconds activate the timer by this contact cv will count the time and 
when this time is less than 5 seconds this output will be high and after 5 seconds this output is high. You can try other compare instructions for self pro software. So thanks for watching guys. Stay in contact and don't forget to subscribe the channel.